Hi, welcome to a new video. Um, basically, I'm only 15 minutes away from home on a place called Gentle Shore Common, um, and it's about an hour from sunset. Basically, I just thought I'd come out with the camera, get some shots. I don't know what this video is going to be like. I'm in the camper, and I may even stop over this way. Seems stupid, only for 15 minutes away, but I was going to come over there this morning, but unfortunately, my back was having none of it. So yeah, so let's just have a quick explore. <music> I don't know if you can just see there, um, there's the electric pylons. I mean, just as walking through, because it's just started to spit of rain a little bit, you get the hissing and everything else off the power lines. Now, for photography with me, I've got a bit boring lately. It is just the boring landscapes and everything else. You know, a lot of other people do. What I used to do is just do different things and unusual things. And I've always liked pylons. I don't know why. There's just makes a nice structure and the, the, the power lines, you know, just going through, symmetrical and all that kind of stuff so and we've just got one there uh, well I've just done two one that way and one that way and they seem okay so we're going to do a bit more different photography than my usual stuff I think because it's just got a little bit boring you know if you've got to have the enthusiasm and again you know try and challenge yourself as well I mean, this is where light does really make a difference in new photography. And I mean, even from one second to another, I mean, I just walked past these two bushes here and there's the pylon in the background and it just made a nice shot. You've got the nice bit of color in the sky from over that side. Um, but literally I just set the camera up just to do a walk past and then the sun really come out and shone on these two trees and just illuminated it, which then makes it, you know, a lot more, you know, looks a lot better anyway. Yeah. Um, um, for me anyway, you know, I mean other people may not think it, but again for me this is a bit of fun. You know what is it they say? Small things amuse small minds. Um, I don't really talk about the gear that I actually use. I mean, to be honest, I only use a Panasonic G85. Well, sorry, in the UK it's the G80, the rest of the world G85. I mean, it's a micro four third system. Um, I used to be on bridge cameras and I just went to this. I mean, yes, it's only 16 megapixel, but it's got interchangeable lenses, which, you know, for me, just getting into this in the hobby, you know, it's great. I mean, just, and I mean, in the distance, you can't really see there, but there's the um, power lines uh, again you know and there's a lot of them grouped together there and we've got the sun just going behind the clouds you've got that golden bit so I've just got the long lens on just to zoom into that again I don't really talk about settings and everything else because you know it is just what it is you know you just take a picture whatever camera you've got just mess around and again just getting out like this you know just on an evening yes it's a bit chilly but not too bad you know but when you see colors like that you know it just makes you feel better inside I always say this on the videos but it does and that's the thing so yeah we'll uh, have a wander around like I say I don't know what's here I haven't been to Gentle Common for years so it's just um, just to have a look around really anyway I did say I'm at Gentle Shore Common. Now, some people may not even know actually where that is. Um, just to put it into perspective, I mean, behind me, you've got absolutely great views, and that way's Burntwood. Brownells is just over that way, which is where I live. Like I say, I'm 10 minutes away, and we're on like the, the staff's border kind of thing. And Gentle Shore Common is just basically a, a, just a big open space, but you've got really good views around here. I, you know, I'm not too sure of the history and anything else on this place. Um, like I say, you know, I, I've kind of lived around here all my life but yeah again it's only one place I've visited you know once or twice years ago and and just for a quick walk and that's the thing I mean it's, it's nice to have a walk I prefer coming out 
either on sunset or sunrise because you just get the colours for the photography. But even at any time of day, you know, just getting out, it's, it's worth it. And I mean, fortunately, I haven't been able to use my van as much as possible because the, when I'm bad, I can't get out in it. And when I'm, I'm not too bad where I could possibly drive, like you know life gets in the way if you know what i mean um but you know it's just one of those things which is why i'm probably going to just stop in the van tonight so i can be the other side and then walk up because i haven't all got all the way up to the top at the moment but yeah i mean like i say the views i'll just put a panoramic on you, you just can't go wrong with this As you can see, the sun you know, coming through the clouds is absolutely gorgeous. And there's three trees here. One, not that many leaves on the other, a little bit less, but then a bit more fuller. And the sun was just gleaning through that. You know, now, like I say, I'm not an expert, um, but it just makes it look nice, you know, and I like just capturing that moment. This is nice here. It is nice, and it's good to get out. To be honest, this is doing me good. Let's put it like that. My back's not doing good, but feeling better in myself, if you know what I mean. I came off the path a bit there because those three trees that I said, the sun just come out and illuminated them. So I had to come all over the bracken and everything. Near enough trip myself up. But you know, the light, you know, like I say, this is why I enjoy coming out this time. Yeah, because it's just, it feels better. Yeah, and than just harsh light. And any photographer, landscape photographer will always tell you, these are the best kind of times. Uh, but to me as well, it's more peaceful. Yes, I've had a few dog walkers around, but that's about it. It's, it's kind of just me and you can hear the birds singing a little bit. And there's not that many around this time of year. that I did want to come out today is like last night I say I was bad um, but the, the sun setting I did a time lapse out of the bedroom window and then this morning like I say I was about to travel here but literally just about to get into the car and my back was having none of it and I did a time lapse with the um, camera on the, the top of the shed but this was how it was you know so really nice I mean, I'm going to head back down now because the sun is going behind the clouds just over there. I think I've got some few nice pictures, which, you know, makes it worth it for me. And I'm not too sure if I'm going to stop in the van, you know, because I could go onto a comfy bed 15 minutes away, but then I've got to get up early if I want to do that in the morning. So not too sure yet. We'll see you in a minute, won't we? So we'll join me down at the bottom. As you can see, I'm back at the camper now. Um, yeah, sun has gone down. Um, I am going to stop in the camper, but what I'm going to do is just move just literally the other side of the common. Um, and basically the reason behind that is I do want to go away soon, properly for a few days, and it's going to get colder. Now, I upgraded the inverter in this a um, few weeks back, put a link to the video somewhere, and uh, I haven't actually tested it with that because the other one, it drew too much power, basically. So yeah, we're going to test it out and we'll move around there so we'll drive around there and uh, yeah a night in the camper 15 minutes away from home so again anyway if you like this video like subscribe do all the kind of youtube stuff because i'm trying to grow this channel gives me more incentive to do these videos as well so let's move on anyway
you know, I've pulled in by the church, but the church bells are going, I don't know if they're practicing because the lights are on or whatever. So I'm not too sure if I'm stuck in here. Well, what I'm going to do is set the bed up and that, because like I say, if I turn you around, there is the path to the other side. And I got to the middle, basically. So the idea is go tomorrow because the sun will be rising from the other side. So hopefully get some pictures. So we'll get the electric blanket, get in there and get the electric blanket and decide what I'm doing. Well, now into stealth mode, all the curtains are up. I actually, before I came out and um, prepared the bed, I got the bed out ready. I just forgot to put the electric blanket on because you have to put a sheet on top of it. Um, so yeah, so that was all done. All the curtains were done other than the like cab curtains. So I've just closed those now, got the light on and that. So no one really knows I'm in here, even though I'm right by the church. I mean, yes, if you do get asked to move, just move, you know, kind of thing and that. For me, like I say, it's 15 minutes, but there's other park, park ups and everything down the road anyway just a little bit more obvious because there's a few other cars here so you know residents may park here as well because we're right by the village here so yeah i'm just going to settle down now get the electric blanket on the actual thing join me in a minute once i've settled down right because this was a last minute thing i'm not cooking in the van or anything like that it's half past six i had something to eat kind of before i come out but what i've done is i've just bought like uh, where are they um just some sandwiches with my and then some snacks and crisps and bits and pieces yeah like i say i'm now set all the electric blankets in I'm being a bit quiet at the moment because you know there are still cars parked by the side and that and like i say i'm not too sure if i can park here right you join me in bed now um basically uh, it's about half past seven um i've settled down now i'm just watching you know tv on my tablet um so i mean the thing is like i say you know yes i'm only 15 minutes away but i mean if i was at home all i would have been doing was watching tv now with me because of my spinal problem a lot of the time i'm actually in bed and i'm asleep you know by about half past seven eight o'clock sometimes and not, I, I i'm up throughout the night so being in this yeah okay you know it's smaller it may be a bit colder but i'm still going to be doing the same thing so you know it works out you know, absolutely fine for me so what i'm going to do now is sign off for this little bit and then you'll see me in the morning and then we'll get some sunrise photography hopefully anyway so good night for now Well, good morning. Um, I had not a bad night's sleep for me. Um, I wake up a, f a few times in the night and I did. I, I fell asleep about eight. Woke up at about half past ten for up for an hour. Woke up at about two again and then properly up at six. It was a bit chilly in the night. I've got a little heat. I had that on at about like, uh, I think the two o'clock time for about only about 10 minutes 15 minutes just to get the chill off the electric blanket works really well it did did, did um, keep me warm in the respect of you know I only again I only had it on for a bit just to you know just to keep me a little bit warm and then on low temperature for an hour so yeah um, um, so far I mean like I say it's about quarter past six half past six at the moment just been outside it's a bit misty which way make it nice but there's clear skies you can see all the stars and everything else so yeah so we'll get out there in a minute and uh, see but it Again, this is the thing with the camper like I say, 15 minutes away it's 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 ridiculous i stopped in now yeah for a 15 minute journey but for me it saves me having to drive in the morning just to get out and again you know it's comfortable in here so i'll have to do this more often just even local ones just just to even get out and especially to do videos that's the thing so yeah we'll get out there in a minute i've had a cup of coffee another cup of coffee before i go out and we'll have a little bit of a wonder well, I've come out now, and like I say, it is a bit foggy. Um, so I'm, well, misty, let's put it like that. Um, so I'm not too sure if we're gonna get any color. Um, we've got an hour to sunrise, so we'll just have a wonder anyway. At the end of the day, it's getting now. Well, it is a bit chilly. I wish I would have brought my hat out. I mean, sunrise, we're about 20 minutes away, and it's from behind me over there. Um, so, yeah, hopefully some colour or something will come through the clouds. I'm not too sure. Um, but like I say, I mean, this proves, though, I mean, it is chilly out here, so in the van, even with the heating off, it was warm in there, so the insulation and that, which isn't that great that I've put in there, works, really. Yeah, we'll just have a wonder. Not going to be the best this morning, I don't think. Yeah, you know, like I say, it was Sod's Law. I was going to come out yesterday. 
and uh, yeah colours were great I looked at the, the weather and yes there was going to be cloud cover and it did say mist but I didn't realise it was going to be as thick as it is but yeah um, at least I'm getting out it's cold but it's nice it's just nice out here I've just noticed there's this it's like cotton wool I'm not too sure if it's fur or anything like that but there's loads of it around yeah and it's like a cotton wool fur so I don't know if an animal's been attacked or what I'm not too sure if anybody knows actually what this is leave a uh, comment down below and that because uh, interesting see come across these weird things I've got to get up again go getting back to basics with the photography there's this bush you've got the, the the yellow flowers and there's a nice spider web there and everything else you know i haven't put the macro lens on but just getting close up i like that i mean the spider web there the only problem is we've just got a little bit of wind so it's trying to freeze the action and i didn't bring the light out to do that you know because we haven't got color in the sky so let's get something else There's been no colours in the sky, no, well, nice colours, um, and there's been no golden light against the trees or anything else because you know it has been you know, foggy and cloudy and everything else. But I mean, behind me here, I mean, the, the views are spectacular up here, and that, and like I say, you wouldn't again, like I always say, you wouldn't think there's places like these that are, are, are by built up areas, like literally down there, it's all housing estates and everything else, you know, just past the fields. But yeah, I mean, it, it is lovely here. I mean, like I say, we are on the edge of Canic Channel. Chase, you know, so that, that is the thing. I mean, Canic Chase is that away, um, but yeah, I mean, this is more open. I mean, well, Canic Chase is more foresty, more built up. This is a bit more open, and that. So, uh, I haven't got the photographer that I directly want, but you know, it, it doesn't matter. I've got a few different things so far, anyway. I'm gonna probably head back in a minute because I am a bit cold, though. It's getting colder as it, 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 the, it's going on, so yeah, we'll head back anyway. Well, I was just about to head back and I noticed some mushrooms in the um, grassy area and everything else. And if you don't know me as well, I, I take around little Lego minifigures. And these are slightly bigger than the normal Lego minifigures. This one's like a little torch. Yeah, you can see there. Um, it's about, what, three inches tall, something like that. Um, but I've got this and I've got a bigger one. And I thought, oh, I'll make some good pictures because I haven't really took any pictures of the Lego. I used to take a lot going out and about and take them everywhere and do different things. Now, I've always got them with me just never do it again that's the thing is I've concentrated more on landscapes more than the the stuff that I actually enjoy so it's getting that to that so yes I've had to nail down and get these different shots and everything but yeah um, wet knees hurting back now but you know it's been worth it because you know no color so something different Yeah, like I say, I'm heading back now. I mean, probably, I'm only, what, well, in a normal person's walk, probably five, 
yeah, seven minutes walk. Yeah, me, it's a lot longer because I'm a lot slower. But again, you know, it's brightening up now and it's clearing a little bit. And you're seeing the views over there. Yes, there's a few houses and that, but just the fields and everything else. You know, it's nice to be out. Like I say, it's just a bit cold. There's been a bit of spitty rain and that. I would have loved to get more like the macro and everything else, but yeah, my trousers are absolutely soaked at the bottom. It's one thing I'll go get is some waterproof um, proper trousers. Uh, I've got waterproof trainers, but no trousers. But yeah, so it's just heading back anyway so i hope like some of the photos if you do like like subscribe do all the youtube kind of stuff because you know it does help me out and give me incentive to do these videos anyway so let's carry on and i'm sorry about the spots on the camera there all right let's carry on As you can see, I'm back at the camper now. Um, yeah, it's been a different kind of trip, different video, everything else. Because basically, yeah, I mean, I came away just to, like, like I say, 15 minutes away. But it was more just so I didn't have to drive in the mornings. Because, like, I mean, even now I've been back at the camper about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And I can't drive back just at the moment. Um, you yeah, know, so I have to wait a little bit. So that driving, it, it does me in a little bit at the moment. But anyway, um, like I say, great colours last night. I think some of the pictures turned out great this morning some of the pictures seemed to turn out okay it was foggy everything else you know it was just not that much lighter you know i would have liked to have done a little bit more um but getting back to the basics and getting to the smaller items and everything else which is why i enjoy and again ah let me get up um he's doing pictures of these this is the larger of the torches now yes it's a bit sad taking one around but i want to get back to these because i did really enjoy that photography and as well having this van that's the thing with the van you know you know even like this you know not that far away it's great just to be able to literally straight out the door and i'm exactly where i want to be straight in nature with great views well normally great views but yeah so it's been it's been different so again um Thank you for watching this one anyway, and uh, you know, hope you join me on the next one and like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. So, thank you for watching anyway, again, and goodbye for now. So, bye. You can't really see there, but the there's the the um. So, yeah, just the. the, the mm. Yeah, I've had no, there's been no light in there. Mm. Yeah. Oh. oh, there we go. Oh, let's get me in focus. Right, it was really nice. The colours, well, mm. Mm. 